Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Bio here, and actually, this is going to be my second take at this commentary because the, uh, the first time around, I got a weird phone call midway through, and actually, I didn't even pick it up in time. But the the name on the caller ID was it was like a bunch of ones and zeros and a bunch of weird characters. So I'm like, okay, apparently Neo is trying to contact me through the Matrix, and it's being unsuccessful at this point in time. But uh, yeah, you know, me and Neo, we go way back. Anyways, Gears of War 2 posting it and I don't think I've ever posted Gears of War 2 on my channel before ever. Yes, it is it is that epic. See what I did there? Gears of War 2 made by Epic. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, no, playing Gears of War 2 and I'm posting it because the Gears of War 3 beta is just around the corner here, about a week away depending on uh, what category you fall into and that's what I wanted to go over who gets the beta win because there's actually um in my mind there's about three different really large groups of people that are getting the beta at different times so I wanted to Wanted to go over that and when it's coming out, all that kind of stuff. I did I did a video like this before, but it wasn't too specific. And since I did that video, there has been more information that has been released. So, figure I go ahead and take another swing at it, if you will. Um, before we get into it, though, I need to uh, sh point out that at the beginning of the game here, I showed um I showed the loading screen, and the reason I did that was to show you guys that I did not have host because you can actually tell who has host through well not who has host. You can tell if you have host through the loading screen in two different ways. Um, the first is through the countdown timer on the map selection screen. So when you're voting for a map, if that countdown timer goes all the way to zero and then it blinks zero again, that means that you have host. And the same thing happens also on the weapon and character selection screen. So if it goes all the way to zero and it blinks, that means you have host. So if it blinks, you best put on your curb stomping boots because you are about to freaking go to town on people. <laughs> Host advantage in this game for any of you who have not played it too much yet or aren't familiar with it. It is, it is huge. There is no comparison to be made with any other first person shooter in terms of how much of advantage Host gives you in this game. It is unbelievable. And part of it is just, you know, the typical leg up on the connection that applies to any game out there that has peer to peer networking. But another part is actually a glitch on Epic's end in terms of uh, the actual shooting. Uh, host in this game has an advantage when it comes to shooting, not only because of the connection, but also because their bullets actually do more damage. And this applies in LAN as well, so it's an actual glitch within the game and not just simply uh, connectivity issues. So, so that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> but uh, they will be rectifying that issue in Gears of War 3, and they will also have dedicated servers, which is a huge plus. I really hope that game developers look at this and they start implementing it in more games in the future. I mean, PC has had this leg up on us for, for the longest time, been able to do, uh, hold their heads high way over above us because of this, and this is something that I think needs to become standard in console games. So hopefully, hopefully we'll start seeing that trend being made, but uh, you never know. Anyways... Let's get into the meat and potatoes of the commentary, if you will, the point in which we are here for. So, the Gears of War 3 beta is available, um, the, actually the soon as it comes out is this coming Friday, it's only five days or four days from today. So, um, but first I'm going to go over the, probably the largest group, which is those who have pre-ordered Gears of War 3, they get access to the beta on the 25th. The thing is, though, you need to be careful about where you pre-order the game from because not every retailer will give you a beta code when you pre-order Gears of War 3. And actually, it, it changes based on what country you live in, too. So in the United States, the only retailer that will give you the Gears of War 3 beta code with your uh, pre-order of the game is GameStop. Nowhere else will do it. No Meyer, Target, you know, Walmart, uh, FYE, Fry's, Best Bop. Uh, <laughs> Best Bop. <laughs> Bop it. Tsh, twist it. Wing. Fling it. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, I, I never actually played that game, so I have no idea what the sound effects are. <laughs> I think I heard a couple commercials, but uh, yeah. So so you need to purchase it from GameStop if you live in the United States. Um, for other countries, I'm not too familiar with, but there is a website that tells you, you know, oh, if you purchase it from this retailer in this country, you're okay, or this retailer, and so on and so forth. And I will post that link in the description as soon as I can find it. So <laughs> I got to find it again. But I will post that there for those of you who are interested in still getting it on the beta. The, uh, the second way... To get in on the beta is from the Gears of War, or not Gears of War, the uh, Bulletstorm Epic Edition, which will give you access on April the 18th, which is a week before the people who pre-ordered the game get it. So, that's pretty nice, pretty nice, very nice. Um, so, yeah, so if you have the Epic Edition, make sure you keep your CD 
Um, because you actually need the CD to play. You actually need the Bullstorm Epic Edition CD to play the beta. It doesn't like come with a code or something. So make sure you didn't uh, sell away your uh, Bulletstorm thinking, oh, this seems crap. I just want it for the beta or something like that. And actually, I actually enjoyed Bulletstorm a lot. The campaign was really was really interesting, really fun. It was a little short. A little short, but do well. The multiplayer, not so hot. The campaign was, campaign was good. Anyways. Um, so there's that. I think I think at this point in time the Bulletstorm Epic Edition has been sold out, but you could probably still get it off like eBay or Craigslist or some other alternative means. So keep on a lookout for that if you are still interested in getting on the beta through Bulletstorm. And the last method of getting into the beta, and this is probably the uh, smallest group of people will apply to this or be applicable for, um, this is Microsoft's Expert Zone. And what Microsoft Expert Zone is, it's a program that Microsoft runs to help train people who are going to be selling games, so people who work at Best Buy or GameStop or places like that, to train them on games. And it's not really training per se. It's like you like take quizzes and stuff to become more knowledgeable about, it, about a game, in hopes that because of this increased knowledge in it, you'll be able to sell it more. And so I think that's you know the final goal with Microsoft, obviously, you know being a business and all, is to sell more. And so what they do is, um, if you sign up for this program, you like take a couple quizzes or whatever to increase your knowledge on Gears of War. It's like really simple stuff, like characters and their names and kind of stuff. You take it, and then once you take it, you get access to the beta on April the 15th, which is this coming Friday, which is three days before the Bulletstorm people. The thing about the uh, Expert Zone is you need to prove that you work for one of these companies, uh, Best Buy, GameStop, so on and so forth, that sells video games. And actually, <laughs> when uh, the Halo Reach beta came out, they didn't do that. It was really easy to sign up for a Microsoft Expert Zone. So there was just tons of people signing up for this program. Tons of people, like way, way more than people who even work in the industry were signing up for it. Um, so a bunch of people got access to the Halo Reach beta a lot sooner than they should have, but it wasn't, you know, it's not a big deal, whatever. But this time around, they... Um, they made it a lot more difficult, so you need to include a lot more information. Before, you only needed to know, like, a name of an employee who worked there and the store number and, like, the phone number. Really simple stuff that anyone could get. Uh, now you need to include a pay stub, I think. I think you need to, like, scan and send a pay stub, or you need to have some information off of a check from the company you work for. So you, so you have to be pretty pretty legit to get in this time. No, uh, not too many ways to work around unless you know somebody who was uh, willing to divulge said information. Although I, I doubt there'd be too many people willing to give away information on their paycheck. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's the three main ways to get in on the beta. Um, one other thing, or one other thing that I wanted to mention here is for those who don't have the beta and aren't going to get in through one of the means I mentioned, um, you can still get it through a friend. So if you have a friend who gets the beta, they have it downloaded on their Xbox, what you can do is you can recover their profile, download the beta, and then give them their profile back and you will still both be able to play the beta even at the same time. That code isn't like linked to your gamer tag. So, um, but obviously that would only work for pre-order for pre-order codes. It wouldn't work if, you know, someone had Bulletstorm cuz <laughs> there's not a code that way. At least I don't believe so. Well, that would be interesting cuz it'll still be installed on your hard drive, so maybe 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 maybe. But anyways, uh, so yeah, those are those are the three different methods that uh, I know of off the top of my head. Um I wanted, to, I wanted to do unlockable videos as well. I probably will end up doing that in a few days down the road because there, there are a lot of unlockables that you can get in the beta that carry over to the full version, but there's you know some hoops you have to go through to get them. So I will point those out in the next video. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this game, guys. Uh, I only did one round of Annex because otherwise this is like a 16-minute video. But uh, I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching.